Fellow citizens of Martin Grove, I want to thank you for sharing some of your personal time to hear this. As we are preparing for the 2010 year with the village budget and everything, I'd like to take some time just to explain to everybody what's been going on and where we're at. As we all know, these are difficult times that many of us have never seen. Maybe our grandparents, maybe some of our parents have seen this. But we have to get through them and we're going to do it together in the best way we know how. First off, the financial crunch hit us a long time before it hit the nation in Morton Grove, as many as you well know. Our village has been running lean for a great many years. It was a hiring freeze in public works since 2002. We have continually not replaced staff whenever we've had someone retire, pass away. In the 2009 year to cut expenses, we were down four sworn officers alone in our police department. We have now replaced three of those. We're holding off replacing the fourth one. Public Works. We lost four personnel in 2009. We've only replaced one. Finance department, we're down three people. We ran nine months with just a finance director and a, an assistant. It wasn't until August that we hired another accountant to help out. We're still down one full-time accountant. Billing department. We've cut all of our part-time billing inspectors. If you, every department you can look at, upstairs in administration, we've, we've reduced staff. We don't have a human resource person. We don't have an assistant village administrator. We don't have even an intern. Economic development, we don't have an assistant. These are all cuts that were made in 09 to prepare. Besides being hit with unusually severe weather, storms, that we have no control over in overtime cost to deal with the snow and the high winds we had in the early part of the spring. This puts a real burden on our public works department, but these are the services that you've come to enjoy and expect. We are recognized recently in the Chicago Tribune for our high standard of public work service of <coughs> snow plowing. We don't want to disregard any of those. We are blessed by having a fire department with a four, less than four minute response time. So when there's an emergency, they're there within less than four minutes. That's a fantastic thing to have. Fire de police department, on average, five minute response time. We don't want to lose those essential services. Many other communities are facing the same burdens we are, but our concern is Morton Grove. For the 2010 budget cycle, normally the village would have three meetings. Start working on it in June. This staff has been working on the 2010 budget since April. We've had several meetings, countless executive sessions. The board and staff have anguished over the decisions that are being made daily. And believe me, we're not trying to be directing cuts at any one department or any one segment of the population. We're trying to equalize it as best we can. Everyone is hurting. Senior citizens, families. I've had a young mother come up and see me here literally begging for help because she had no longer had any money for groceries for her children. That's heart-wrenching. When you see somebody who lost their job and their husband lost their job, and now they lost their house and they're looking for grocery money. This has hit all of us very, very deeply. It's very trying emotional times. I'm sure everyone has a story to tell about it. But I think we're going to come out of this stronger than we were before if we work together. And that's what we're trying to do, work together. The 2010 budget that we are putting on the table calls for a 0% increase in, of salaries. It calls for almost $500,000 in staff reductions. 
it calls for the removal of all vehicles from department heads and liaison staff that were assigned cars. It calls for an increase in the vehicle stickers. It also calls for an increase in the dreaded garbage fee. That's very painful for us, but there's no alternative. We're trying to make it fair and equitable for everybody. It also calls for probably one of the most difficult decisions, and that is senior services at the Civic Center. The board has opted to keep the senior services going on a reduced scale through March 31st with a review to see how finances are going, to see how the rest of the village is going. They have also opted once again to have a 0% real estate tax increase. I strongly agree with that sentiment. Real estate taxes are the most discriminatory taxes that's out there. You're being charged on an assessed valuation of your house at one rate and your neighbor may have a very comparable house and pay much less or pay much more. The whole real estate tax system needs to be overhauled, but that's at the county level and the state level, which adds to another one of our problems that we're faced with, unfunded mandates by the state of Illinois and the federal government. They enact laws and make decisions and don't provide any funding for it, but lay that burden on you, the local residents. Our village is mandated many times to change our laws and abide by their decisions without any funding, and our only recourse is to raise your taxes or raise your fees to meet those obligations. In the fall newsletter, we asked for your support on some of these unfunded mandates and gave the names and addresses of all your local elected officials in Springfield. I hope you participated and called them. This is imperative that these things come to an end. I know this is difficult, it's very difficult for us. We have tried to do our best with what we have to work with. But the one thing we do not want to sacrifice is that when an emergency is there, that that fire engine, that ambulance is there, that police car is there. That when you go to work in the morning, the street is cleared. We want to maintain those services as best we can in what you've come to enjoy and what we're recognized for. It's not all doom and gloom. I think there's some good things going to happen to our village. I think we're poised in the right place at the right time that things are going to turn around for us. And your village staff and your village board is working diligently on many things that are going to enhance our revenue statures in the future. Once again, I hope you can understand that all of these cuts and all of these decisions are not pointed at one segment of the populace of Morton Grove, but trying to equalize the load against everybody for the betterment of Morton Grove. I really wish you all a good and safe and healthy holiday season. Thank you.